guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we actually have another Blushing Bride video today. So if you guys do not know, I recently got my engagement photos taken. Now, I've been dreaming about this day for the longest, and it came and it went. And I was just so excited to have my engagement photos done. So um, we got our engagement photos done April 2nd. We got them done downtown Rome, Georgia, which is where I'm from. I was born and raised there, and that's where we're getting married as well. It's very, very beautiful, historic. Um, all the buildings are old. Um, if you guys don't know the little history about Rome, it was actually brought up to the second level because it kept flooding. So the level we have now is actually the second level. The first level is actually covered with cement and road and all of that stuff. But it's still, still very, very beautiful, and a lot of people get married down there. Um, the theme right now for Rome, Georgia is people are having outside country rustic weddings, but I wanted something a little bit more formal, a little more classy, elegant, and I thought that having our photos downtown would incorporate that. Now, I'm not going to dive straight into like what I wore and how we took our pictures and, you know, a little sneak peek. I'm going to dive straight into the photographer. Now, we were actually very, very fortunate enough, my fiance and I, to actually be able to get our engagement photos done very, very inexpensively, like almost basically free. Um, the girl that we used, I've known her since elementary school, and we graduated the same year of high school and also in the same college. So we know each other for a very long time, and we also have the same circle of friends. So she's not a stranger at all, and she's building up her clientele for her photography business. She was very, very sweet, kind, and just everything. Um, she actually had a few ideas herself and um, they came out perfect. She is somebody that I trust with something that's important to me. Now I want to get into like the tips and tricks of your photographer. When it came to using Krista as our photographer, we knew her personally and we and I knew her for a very, very long time. Without a doubt, I knew that I was going to use her and that's exactly what I did and it was the best decision ever and now when it comes to you and your photographer get acquainted with your photographer now you will probably get a feeling or a vibe about your photographer now if you instantly click with your photographer then you know that you found the one but if you're like uncomfortable then you probably don't have the right one um, another thing is do not rush. The day that we took our engagement photo shoot, I actually had to work. So I was actually able to get off a little bit early and we was able to, I actually had 30 to 40 minutes to get ready. So that really, really helped me to like calm down, de-stress. Like the moment I started doing my makeup, like I was calm, relaxed, I was not stressed at all. And I live in Marietta and my photo shoot wasn't wrong. So I was able to calm down, we were both able to get ready, you know, do all the cute little stuff, getting ready together. And then we left and we were so calm, so chill. Had a nice conversation, um, driving to Rome and, you know, just enjoying each other's company. So I highly recommend make sure you have enough time to get ready so you're not frazzled and stressed because for you to de-stress, it's going to take at least 20 minutes and it will show in your pictures. Now the second tip that I have is Coordinate your outfit. Now, if you don't want to coordinate your outfit, at least have the basic colors matching. Now, as far as what I wore, I wore something very, very light, airy, because I knew it was going to be hot. It was 80 degrees when we took our engagement shoot, but we took them later on in the day. We actually took our, took our engagement photo shoot um, at like 6.30, so it can be cooled down a little bit, so it won't be so hot because baby girl is not about to be sweating all this makeup that she done put on her face and then worked so hard on so we waited a little bit and we took our engagement photos now if you're taking your engagement photo in the spring I highly recommend like colors like pastels, blush pinks, even nudes um, you know bright beautiful colors like lavenders, a periwinkle color um, golds, yellows, oranges like patterns, you name it, wear it. Anything that's beautiful, bright, airy, that gives you the feel that you want, do it. Now, me and Greg actually chose to wear blush pink. That's because that's one of the colors in my wedding. So we actually coordinated that, and it came out beautiful. 
Um, my dress actually came from Walmart. I actually picked it up three weeks before our um, engagement shoot, and I'm so happy that I bought it because it ended up being beautiful. Like, the moment I got out the car, Krista was like, your dress is to die for. It's gorgeous. And it's, she said, and it looks so good in the photos. So, here's my dress. Alright, so this is my dress. As you guys can see, it has this little mini dress here. It's kind of fitted, so it gives you the fit that you want. And then it has this beautiful, beautiful floral, darker pink, um, sheer overlay with it. And it has a little bit of a fringe. And then it has this cute little sleeves here. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it ties in the front as well. And it has these little frills all the way going down to the bottom, and it's floor length. So I wasn't hot. Um, it actually kept me very, very cool. I absolutely loved it. I was able to move freely in it, and when the wind blew it, it was gorgeous. Krista got this one shot that I was obsessed with. Like, out of all the shots, this was our shot. Like, it was perfect and my lip color color I actually ended up using the Wet n Wild Mega Lab Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the color pink really hard. It's just this nice pretty pink nude color. And then the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Coffee Buzz. Now I use two of these now, so this was my overall lip color. It's like a nice, dark, coffee, ready, pinky brown color. And to make it a little bit more spring, I use this in the center. And it came out beautifully. Greg is not a fan of me wearing makeup, but when he looked at me, he was like, that lip color is so you. So... Yeah, that's um, what I wore. As far as my shoes, I wore some nice ankle um, sandals that were absolutely gorgeous and comfortable. And I didn't paint my toes because I knew my toes were going to be covered. And I had um, wet and wild um, light baby pink nail polish on. And I had my ring cleaned the day of. And it just it was just perfect. Now, as far as my hair, I actually had my hair um, braided. French style, um, had two braids right here going down, like going down to form like a little crown, and I had pieces um, that were left out and they were curled. And any flaw I was I had, I just fixed it with hairspray. So my hair was up off my neck, I was not sweating, I did not have to worry about my hair not cooperating, but I absolutely loved the way it came together. The idea that I had in my head came to life, grit matched perfectly. He had on a nice blush pink button up collared shirt and some nice brown um, shorts with some low top spares. Somebody, somebody's walking by. The third thing that you want to make sure that you have is to the right to your photos. I cannot stand when somebody takes a photo of me and then they have their big watermark over my photo that I'm paying for. Like, I understand that's your brand and all of that, but I really, really do think that you not having your watermark there is like the perfect thing. So make sure you have the right to use them freely and you don't have to worry about anything legal wise. Now the fourth thing is to just have fun. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy your engagement shoot. You may need one or two engagement shoes depending on you and your fiance. But enjoy this time. It's the most wonderful time of your life. So enjoy it while it lasts because just like that it will be over. Like I hope you guys enjoyed this little video that I put together for you guys. I really, really enjoy filming it and follow me on my social media. I post nearly every day. Um, follow me on my blog. I have a link down below so you guys can follow as well. Um, I post on my Snapchat story. I post on my Instagram story nearly every single day. I will have all the videos that I've done so far either linked in the down bar or up here somewhere for you guys to click on and watch if you are interested. Be sure to click that red subscribe button if you guys do not mind and want to be a part of this little family I have. And yeah, I hope you guys have a nice spring. And if you're engaged, congratulations.